Grandpa, I'm really busy with the guys. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Talk to you later. Oh, thanks for the food, Grandpa. You're welcome. Thank God you healed up so fast. Yeah. Now you can take me on a walk. Ah, but I don't like those walks, Grandpa. So boring. Oh, well, I need to tell you something important. Oh, uh, fine. Let's just go now. Joey, I would like to tell you about a man named William Miller. Is this even relevant? When William Miller was a young man, he was a general in the War of 1812. During this amazing event, he was in the Battle of Plattsburgh and was nearly killed. And? Joey, you need to hear me out. <sighs> During the Battle of Plattsburgh, it was starting to look like the Americans were winning. William was celebrating with his comrades. Then the British fired a shell which landed only two feet away from him. He was nearly blown to bits with his friends. That's when he started to believe that there really had to be something more out there. He started to believe that there had to be a God. After the war, William went home. He started to have nightmares about the war. He believed that if he went to church, they wouldn't be so bad. So he started going to church. His uncle preached very well, but sometimes he would be out of town and the deacons would read the sermons instead. William found it boring and wouldn't come until his mother questioned him, and he volunteered to read. He was reading a particular sermon one day, and it touched him so deeply that he couldn't finish it. He began to study the Bible so deeply that he found the 2300-day prophecy in Daniel. William made the conclusion Jesus was coming again in 1843. God wanted him to start preaching about the things he now understood, but William did not want to preach. But he told the Lord that if he sent someone to come talk to him, he would preach, and God sent him someone. Can you believe it? A man who once was a deist and mocked Christians now became one of the founders of the Advent movement. Trust me, he had some hard trials too, like the Great Disappointment. But once he found out that he was wrong about Jesus coming, he went and studied everything all over again. He decided that it would be 1844. Unfortunately, William soon found out that that date was also wrong. Even through all of this disappointment, he never gave up and never stopped believing in Jesus. Grandpa, I don't think that- Joey, you could have been killed in that car accident, but I believe Jesus protected you in your stupidity, just like he protected William Miller in his ignorance. I believe God saved you for a reason, just like William Miller. That's what I wanted to say to you. You know I love you so much, but Jesus loves you even more. Let him use your great musical abilities and whatever else you have to praise him. I'm sorry for not listening to you, Grandpa, and all the times for skipping Sabbath. I forgive you, Joey, but there's someone else who would forgive you too.